think the driving is like a dance. The car is always moving a bit because of the short wheelbase is very precise. You feel that the DNA of the Stratos is a race car made for rallying. A Ferrari engine obviously is a plus. The weight, less than 900 kilo. Windscreen in like an aeroplane cockpit. On twisty road, there is not a better car than the Stratos. The car is a global concept that was a winning package immediately. It's a very spectacular car to watch and spectacular to drive. In 2011, I started to race with the Stratos. Two years after, I won the Tour de France Automobile. Meanwhile, I did the Italian Championship with the Stratos. We won, and it was the first year of the partnership with Zenit. Very few spare parts remaining, so we have to rebuild most of the parts. I have really committed a lot of time, energy and money in the last four years to make the Stratos winning again. There's illusion and there is satisfaction, but I knew that because I am a race car driver, so I know that you have to accept the defeat. You have to find the right setting to win again, because in historic rallies we are competing with cars and are much more modern, more power and more technology. But still we manage to win races. This car is the fruit of uh, people committed to 100% racing that have known uh, no mistake when they did the car uh, more than 40 years ago with such a vision of uh, what could be the best uh, rally car. The place I was born is very close to a famous special stage of the Monte Carlo Rally. I went there the first time, I was 13 years old, and the Stratos was there. As a Frenchman, the Alpine, which won the first championship title in 73, was a dream car, and uh, immediately after was the Stratos. The strategy of a car manufacturer normally is to promote a model that you see on the street. At the time, Lancia was a high society class car. A bit of racing with the Fulvia, but not really committed to racing. And Cesare Fiorio was the sports director of Lancia, which was called uh, AKF, High Fidelity. That's his band. But the fantastic vision when he saw the Berton Stratos project at uh, Torino Motor Show in 71. He worked for six months on the project, asking uh, drivers, engineers, mechanics, what would be your dream car? and he arrived with the project to Berton. He said, okay, from that Stratos project, if you can integrate those parameters, change the gears in less than 15 minutes, driving position with zero dead angles, good accessibility for the mechanics, then I will try to bring this project headquarters of Lange. I think in 2016, if you are a sports director of a car manufacturer and you propose a project which is so far from the roots of the company, it would be an excuse to kick you off. But what a success. The car won three consecutive World Rally Championship. Fiat said, okay, we have to stop. We spend money for rallies, but this is to sell cars like they are still doing today. But the privateers won race till uh, 81, and tour de course in 79, Rally Monte Carlo. So 10 years after, the car was still competitive. If it was not the regulation of the four wheel drives and the turbo, the car would have won for years and years and years. The Lancia Stratos is the only car in the rally history uh, that has been uh, built 100% for racing purpose. People now are preserving them for, for the museum and there are very few to risk uh, them on the street. I wanted to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the last victory in 76. Michael Storchek, the German businessman, organized the first World Stratos meeting. He did in 86. 
a few years ago he, he made this uh, wonderful uh, new Star Wars prototype. Obviously this project inspired me for the 40 years anniversary to do something special. The watch manufacturers are very much involved in because there is a great link between uh, watch technology and classic cars. I went to see Aldo Magada, the CEO of Zenit. As you can imagine, he has Italian roots from his name. Also for him, the, the Stratos was a legend. We decided 40 years, we must have 40 cars and to build 40 limited edition watch. I knew it was a good opportunity to do it here in Biela and I wanted to link this meeting to a race meeting, the Rally Lana, because the purpose of the launch of Stratos from the beginning is competition, not commercial reasons. did something that uh, the world will remember forever and uh, the merit is to zen it because without them we could not have organized such a big event. I'm not really a, a collector, so I'm a competitor still. So for me, having a car in the garage and just looking at it is not enough. I want to feel the emotions from the car, from the eyes, from the body, driving the car to its limits. The Stratos has a magnet effect, even if it's fiberglass. <laughs> I would like that the new generation is seeing the Stratos as I saw it when I was a kid, not as a museum car, because uh, you cannot appreciate the Stratos if you only see it in the museum, you appreciate the Stratos if you see it on the street, on the rally stages. Forever, the Stratos will be the queen of rallies, and the legend will be there forever. Yeah.